What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about the roadmap for ESO in 2023 since we got the big reveal yesterday. So first of all, in quarter one, we'll get the Scribes of Fate, which will come out in March. That's going to be the two new dungeons. So it's going to kind of be the same as we've seen in previous years. And then in quarter two, we're going to get the Necrom uh, DLC, which is going to come out for PC first and then console later on in the month of June. And this is going to be on the Telvini Peninsula. It's going to have two different kind of zones to to kind of discover kind of like we saw with some of the past dlcs where you have that overland zone and then you kind of have that depth zone where you can go you know in a different kind of realm almost um and that's going to be i think the one that everybody's really interested in considering the trailer focused a lot on that uh it's kind of that dark creepy spooky kind of look to it i kind of like the idea that they went with this year with that zone so i really always have enjoyed when Zenimax has done that, you know, kind of with the whole vampire thing, they did the same thing. So I really like the look of that. With that uh, quarter two DLC, we're also going to get a new class, which is going to be the Arcanist, which I know a lot of people have been wanting a new class. This will be the seventh class that they that we have available to us in ESO. We're going to get two more character slots. One of them will be for free for the Arcanist class, and then you will be able to buy one. So we're going to go from 18 to 20. You're going to get the 19th one for free. You'll have to buy the 20th class. Uh, also, we're going to get two new uh, two new companions, excuse me, an Aragonian Warden and a Red Guard Arcanist. The twelve person trial, which is you know something we see every year, so that'll be a new trial that we can uh, go into, which is called Sanity's Edge. Which is a really unique name to me. I thought it was a really great name for a trial. World events and public dungeons, of course, will be available in the zone. And then in quarter three, they really didn't go in a lot of depth about what exactly quarter three is going to bring, but it said quality of life improvements. One thing they did talk about was a all-in-one attunable table, which would be great because we have so many attunable stations right now between woodworking, uh, you know, your blacksmith, your uh, clothier, uh, your alchemy tables, your being able to make rings and jewelry. There's just too many tables you have to have in your home. So an all-in-one attunable station will be great. And also a pre-made group finder, which they really didn't talk about too much. I'm kind of interested to see exactly how that's going to work. And then Rich Lambert gave us one little hint about the Quarter 4 DLC. All he said was, for right now, an endless dungeon with a buddy. Not quite sure how they're going to do this. There's other MMO RPG style games out there that have endless dungeons where there's like different levels and, and floors you can just continue to go through. But with a buddy, sounds like this will be two-person content. We'll have to wait till you know, kind of later down the road to find out exactly. I'm assuming probably after quarter two before we really know exactly what this is going to be. But this year seems to be... Like, it's going to be a good year for ESO. I made that video a few weeks back talking about this could be a really big year for ESO. And I think a lot of people right now are pretty hyped up after they saw that trailer, saw the new class. I think this is getting people interested in the game again. And that is exactly what Zoss needed to do, in my opinion, to keep the player base healthy and keep players coming back year after year. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the big reveal let me know what you think about the roadmap for this year and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace